Well, the story continues with billionaire Alan Stanford and the accusations that he ran a massive fraud. Some of his latest victims now include Yankees outfielders Johnny Damon and Xavier Nady. Their accounts frozen. Allegedly, they invested in a company that was tied to Stanford. Damon is quoted as saying he can't pay his bills right now. Still, no criminal charges have been filed against Stanford, but our next guest says that will change. Joining us now from Houston is criminal defense lawyer George Parnum. He's well known for defending such people as Andrea Yates and Clara Harris. Harris, uh, welcome very, very much to you, sir. Uh, let's talk about um, Alan Stanford and your personal relationship with him or lack thereof. Do you know him? Have you had any uh, dealings with him? Uh, no, I've never met the man and uh, never had any financial or social um, engagements with him whatsoever. All right, well, now that that's out of the way, if you were defending him, that said, what would be your advice to him at this point? Well, uh, you know, it's. So much of this is based on this issue of perception. Um, in, in the times that uh, we face now economically, uh, when uh, the country sees uh, the Madoff scandal, for instance, uh, uh, or the GM and, and uh, corporate executives of the auto industry flying their private jets to Washington to ask for money, uh, and when we see a man, for instance, uh, uh, like Stanford, who uh, basically obviously lives the high life and uh, uh, is not shy about flaunting uh, his particular position, uh, that leads to a perception of wrongdoing. Uh, the first thing that needs to be changed here, uh, it seems to me, is uh, that intangible. He needs to come mm -hmm. uh, with a much lower profile than than he is presently being pictured as. Well, since we have heard so much about perception of him, um, in terms of what you've read about the fundamentals of the case, where do you see the investigation headed? Do you see that there will be criminal charges? I, I don't think there's any question but that there will be some criminal charges brought. Uh, the allegations contained in the uh, request for a restraining order, uh, which will uh, be heard from an evidentiary standpoint in Dallas, on uh, the 2nd of March at 1030 at the federal courthouse, those allegations smack of, uh, of, of accusations of illegal wrongdoing, hmm. which uh, carry criminal penalties. The okay. FBI is involved in the investigation, Department of Justice, um, that's where this is headed. Okay, George, thank you so much for joining us with the latest on the Allen Stanford case.